Hello everybody, it's Nerdiversal back here with another video. Um, before I get started, I'd just like to say hello, it's 2019! I'm glad you all see you here and alive and well. Um, I'm gonna be talking about some goals that I set for myself in 2018. I don't like to say uh, New Year's resolutions, don't ask me why, I'm kind of just a dumb bitch that doesn't like to hear that or say that, so I don't. So I made myself goals, even though it's the exact same fucking thing, but um, you know, I made them and hopefully I stick to them and uh, put them more into plan as I figure out how to make myself work and do more things. Also, before I start this video, uh, check the link in the description because I left a two months free of Skillshare. I'm not sponsored by them by any means, I'm such a small channel, I could never, but um, I did put that in there because if you're anything like me, you probably uh didn't go to college and want to figure out some way to learn the things that you want to learn so go ahead and click that link and they have a lot of valuable stuff on there and maybe that could kickstart it without spending an ass load of money so the first thing that i wanted to do in 2018 was to finish my finish one volume of my comic book and i've already got it mapped out and i already have everything ready i just have to write it page by page which isn't I mean, it's a lot harder than just writing the general idea of it, but I think I can do it. And if I just did that and started drawing for it, then I could finish at least one volume by the end of the year. And that's not even a big goal because people finish volumes by volumes every year. And that's something I want to do, but that's something I want to do when my art career is a little bit bigger. But I do want to finish at least one comic book. This way I can say that I've done it and be able to continue with that and make it a little bit better. I also want to have lived a little more of an environment <laughs> okay this is gonna sound read weird oh my god i can't speak um i want to have lived a little more of an environmentally friendly life because the end of the world via uh fucking um what do you call it uh global warming that scares the shit out of me dude i'm afraid so i watched a few videos and that's probably not enough and i probably sound like a gigantic uh, idiot right now but the point is that I want to eat a little bit less meat. I don't want to be vegan. Fuck being vegan. Um, I want to eat less meat because apparently we eat too much. And I also want to use more, um, use more reusable things instead of like one use stuff. Like uh, instead of one coffee, I could drink it out of like one that I use all the time. A mug that I use all the time, not, not just one cup. And I drink coffee a lot. I love Starbucks. I love sweet drinks and... I use a lot of disposable things like that and I could I could not do that, you know? I could really just fucking not do that and just do a little bit more research about what I'm eating and maybe even be a little bit healthier because of that. But that's not my goal. My goal is to just, you know, get, not fuck up the environment. That's my goal here. Uh, yay planet Earth. Another one that I also wanted to do, this one is kind of personal to me, I guess. I wanted to get closer to my family because um, I did have a side of the family that I was really close to, but we don't talk anymore for reasons. And so I'm on a different side of the family now, and I want to get closer to them because uh, functions are more fun when you know people, and I feel like I could talk to them more and it would just be better. And another thing is that me and my boyfriend have been together for three years, but we barely know each other's family. So getting close to our own and getting close to each other's would be a lot better than like just kind of staying in my own little place and especially when family functions happen just be kind of nervous around everybody because I'm not used to them and I don't go out of my way to talk to them because I have such huge anxiety about it and not wanting to do it. But if I push myself to do it more maybe it will be a little bit better and hopefully I can you know have more fun. I also want to keep up on my Instagram page by posting at least four times a week or once a month. Um, so as you guys may have known, I sort of went MIA for July because I literally didn't post anything. And that was just a step down from how much I used to post before that, which was like once a month, maybe twice a month. And that was really sad for somebody who wants to be an artist, barely posting on their Instagram, which is their main place to post their art. Um, I don't really post on Tumblr, I don't really post on Facebook, and I'm not sure that I really want to yet, but I could stand to post more on Instagram so that people will go to my Instagram and not think that I'm inactive because I haven't posted in a long time. 
and maybe sort of kickstart my art career like that. That would be way better than what I was doing last year while I was in school. And I have the free time, so I really should do that. And I think I'm going to. Let's let's fucking uh, let's get this 2019 bread. I also want to start generating some sort of income through art, even if it's not a lot. I just want to have started it. Um, this would probably be a good place to plug my Redbubble. It's in a link in the description below, but I put all my good artwork on there. So if you guys ever want to see something on artwork, this drawing actually did pretty good. Um, people liked the pastel, I guess, the peachy pastel stuff. So I'm going to put that on like a shirt or um, a phone case or something. But I do have that. So I put all my good art on phone cases and shirts. And if you like any of it, then you can get it on a shirt or you can get it on a phone case or you can get it just as a poster. And I think you guys might enjoy that. So uh, go ahead and hit up my Redbubble in the description below. But I do want to start having made money. This way I can kickstart my art career. I also want to do more things that scare me, like talking to people that I wouldn't normally talk to or applying for things that I'm kind of underqualified for. This has been a huge thing for me because I miss opportunities that I could have gotten because I don't talk to people. I don't, I'm too afraid to talk to them because they're so overqualified or I don't apply for things because I feel like I don't deserve it. So maybe if I just started going for more things, I would find myself in more opportunities and that would kickstart my art career. So there's lots of possible ways, I hope. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like content like this, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys, love you. Mwah.